A lot of us will miss Minnesota State Fair sweet corn this year. Thankfully, Rebecca Coles can help fill the void with her tips on enjoying the sweet corn harvest. If you grew corn this year in your backyard, you are in for a big treat. This far outweighs the flavor of supermarket sweet corn. Now, if you didn't grow corn, this is the next best option, visiting a family farm. We pick uh, every morning and every evening. That way it stays fresh and the stand doesn't dry out. Keeps its sweetness better that way. And how long ago was that? This is about 15 minutes ago. Okay. That'll do it. Now remember, time is flavor. Once you get the corn home, you want to eat it right away because within an hour, 90% of the sugar in the sweet corn starts converting to starch. Now, there's three ways that I like to cook corn. Let me show you. Now, boiling water is the most traditional way to cook corn, but here's the tip. Add salt to your water. And when I'm talking about salt, I mean salt the water. It should taste like the sea. The salt will not only intensify the flavor, but it allows the corn to shine. You want to boil this for about five minutes. That's it. Don't overdo it. You'll know the corn is ready when it turns from pale to dark yellow. And this baby looks good. Now, if you can't stand the heat in the kitchen, take the corn outdoors. This is how I love to cook corn on the cob, right on the grill, husk and all. The grill was set on high. I charred these for about 15 minutes. And the beauty of keeping the husks on, not only does it keep the moisture in, but it also imparts a smoky flavor. And by the way, for fairgoers, this is as good as it gets. Give me a little butter, let it drip down my chin, and we're in business. Now, if you're really crunched for time and you want a clean way of cooking corn, take the entire cob, cut off the bottom, making sure you cut into the cob, and throw this into the microwave. You want to cook it at high for about four minutes per cob. Then, when it's done, watch this. Squeeze off the top. You might need to towel. Voila, and this corn tastes delicious. No mess. Now for those who like street corn called elote, here's my take on it. I take mayo, add sriracha, and a little cilantro. Just add enough sriracha until the heat fits your taste buds. And instead of cotilla cheese, I use parm. So what you want to do is take your cooked cob, we're going to roll it in this mayo mixture, like so. Then into the parm. Okay. <sighs> Add a little cracked pepper. Oh my goodness, who is ready to eat? Staying safe in the garden, I'm Rebecca Coles. Yeah.